<laughs> Nadia, you, you had both your, your kids at home, didn't you? Were your, yeah. were your kids as involved as, as Jules? Yeah, well, Maddie, well, Maddie was, she was only four when, when Kiki was born, but she was there and she was hearing all the screaming and shouting and everything. Um, but it's funny, Mark and I had a date night on Friday and Mark is very romantic. But I think he said possibly the most romantic thing he's ever said to me on Friday. It made me cry. And he was talking about when I was in labour with Kiki and he was saying, oh, when you were in labour, oh, don't, what was that like? Oh, God, I looked awful. Didn't know, oh God, I was like a mooing cow. And he said, I just can't believe you would say that. He said, he said you were just so primal and you were so brave. He said, and you were like, he said you were like everything. You were like the moon, the stars. He said you were just like everything. What it was? I was sobbing. And, and but it made me think when we were talking about this earlier today, and I thought. Well, I think, because in lots of cultures, everybody, the whole family yes, comes to birth. Yeah. And I think part, I think that's good, because that's it's cool. like, we are blooming brilliant. Yes. I mean, we could just be frying an egg, us women, <laughs> and growing a lung <laughs> at the same time. You know what I mean? And then, and then we give birth. Yeah. And so I think that that respect of how brilliant we are comes. Mm, and yeah. my daughter, Maddie, saw me. I mean, you know, being an incredibly brave of course. Yeah, woman. Yeah. Yeah. And so why not? As long as they're not frightened, why yeah. not? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, I mean, I must admit, I, I mean, I've got a 14-year-old son. I don't think he'd be very happy. No. <laughs> I wouldn't really <laughs> like that. And, and Amy, I can't really no. imagine no. her. If they wanted to be there, absolutely. Yeah. I, I personally wouldn't necessarily want a room full. No, um, I'd, like the, I'd like, you yeah. know, the, the person responsible. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd like them there. still like him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think I'd lost his number by then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. I know the father of my children. <laughs> You've just become a granny. A granny, I have. And we, you were there, weren't I you? Was, yeah. <laughs> Collie. No, can we stick to Granny? Because Granny, I feel, yeah. you know, yeah. I'm not ready. Um, <laughs> no, yes, I was there at Amelia Rose's birth, and Kira came with me as well. She really, really wanted to, and yeah. I asked Emma, Amelia's mom, and I said, look, Kira would like to be there. And she said, oh, she didn't care at that point who was there. Yeah. She was just wanted it out. And, um, yeah, so Kira came in, and it wasn't an easy birth, to be honest mm. with you. It was quite horrific by the end. It all kind of went a bit wrong at the end, <laughs> like hard for her. And, um... In some ways, I thought, well, if this doesn't put you off exactly, sex, nothing will. Exactly. <laughs> I thought it was a genius move. <laughs> <laughs> it's drastic. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, I, I mean, I've got two girls, and I've always said if I have another one, they're definitely going to be there, because yeah. I think it would be a brilliant contraceptive tool. <laughs> <laughs>